Hi, my name is Rod Hal from UnitedTaps.com and I'm going to walk you through the process of using an app called GoodReader to download and open the Tap Dance Video Dictionary and Syllabus on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod. So the first thing you want to do is go to the App Store and get the GoodReader app. There are two versions available. There's uh, GoodReader for iPad or iPhone and there's also a good reader for good which appears as free. You don't actually want the free version. The free version is only for specific enterprise applications. So in my case I bought good reader for iPad. Uh, if you have an iPhone you'll need to purchase good reader for iPhone. Uh, the cost currently is four dollars and ninety nine cents. So once you purchase that you're going to go to your home screen and then you're going to open your email. Now I use Gmail here. If you use uh, the built-in mail app, that's fine, or another mail app, it doesn't really matter. You just want to go to your email, and you want to find the email you received from unitedtaps.com with links to download the dictionary. So here I have my links. I'm going to click and hold the link next to level one, and I get the option to open, add to reading list, or copy. I'm going to choose copy, and from here, I'm going to go back to home, and then I'm going to scroll over to the Good Reader app right there and open Good Reader app. Now, over on the right hand side here, I want to select Web Downloads. Boom. And a little pane opens up. From there, I want to select Enter URL. When I do that, a little window pops up. And a cool thing happens it automatically pastes the link I just copied from my email into this little field here. So all I have to do is press OK. And as soon as I do that, you can see right here that the file is downloading. Now, for the sake of time, I went ahead and already downloaded it so we wouldn't have to wait. So I'm going to hit X here and stop the download. But you would wait until that file completely downloaded. And once it finished, all you would need to do is tap on it. And then that file would show up here on the left-hand side just like mine. New Dictionary Level 1.zip. From here, we're going to click on that and it says zip archive unzip it. Yes we do want to unzip it so I'm going to click unzip. And right now it's unzipping that file. It's basically opening it up so it can get to all the videos that are stored inside it. Yeah, a zip file is just a way of packaging a bunch of different files together so you can send them as a single download. Um, you, the only downside to a zip file is you need to have a program that can open it. So Good Reader can do that, and that's what it's doing right now. All right, so it's finishing up. Now you see a blue folder titled Level 1. That is the Level 1 of the dictionary, and if I tap on that, you'll see here is a list of all my Level 1 steps. And if I want to see one of those steps, I just tap on it. These are step fields. Yes, they are, and so it plays. When I'm done, I can click the Done up here and it takes me back to my list of steps and if I want to go back to my list of levels I can go back here where I have level one now once you've unzipped the file you don't have to keep the zip file down here unless you really want to so if you wanted to delete this right here you could do that or if you want to save it you can too so you just repeat this process for levels two through six and you'll be able to access all the steps from the tap dance video dictionary right here in GoodReader now one negative to downloading direct to the iPad through GoodReader is that if you go to the built-in videos app here for the iPad or on your iPhone and you click on it you'll notice it says no videos. The built-in video player app doesn't recognize those files that were downloaded direct into GoodReader. All right? So to access those files you'll just have to go to GoodReader and then select level 1 or level 2 whatever files you've downloaded and view them that way. If you would like the videos to show up in the native video player for iPad, iPhone, or iPod, what you would need to do is download the Tap Dance Dictionary files to your computer. From there, drag them into iTunes and then sync your iPad, iPhone, or iPod with iTunes telling it to sync the dictionary files that you just added. If you do that, they will show up in the built-in video player. Uh, I just think of it as, look, the good readers, think of it as your tap dance video dictionary app if you want, where you can directly access all those videos and they're not mixed in with the other videos, so it could be seen as an advantage. Alright, so that is how 
You download and view the Tap Dance Video Dictionary onto an iPad, iPhone, or iPod. I hope you found this informative. My name's Rod Howe from UnitedTaps.com, where we're teaching the world to tap dance.